this is a look at the Cronova dash cam which is a very different design to most of those which are currently on the market. It arrives with a full range of accessories including a 12 volt power plug and mini USB connector to power it. An instruction manual which is quite a good manual because it makes complete sense and is actually very useful although having said that I think I've actually got a proof copy with some errors that should actually have been deleted but it's still readable, it's still usable, it's just got these bits crossed out which I think shouldn't have appeared in the final proof to go out to customers but we can look beyond that and unlike most cameras it also has a rear camera as well which is ideal for monitoring tailgaters for example but let's have a look at the main camera this is the unit whereas most dash cams are quite small units that fit directly to the windscreen this one is obviously very much larger as you can see and it actually fits onto the rear view mirror via these silicon stretchy bands loop this over your rear view mirror I found that it fits well there's no wobble and it gives a good rear view mirror of inside your vehicle once fitted to your rear view mirror there's this rectangle in the center which gives the view of what you're actually filming ahead and in this smaller rectangle further down in the bottom right corner this gives the view from the rear camera this one it's all very very easy to set up in fact much easier than many other cameras on the market because all the control switches are here along the bottom and they're actually labeled so you can actually see them with the dash cam in situ whereas many other cameras have all these buttons underneath and you very much have to rely on memory as to what each one does so if we switch it on and it's now filming items in front if I just put the instruction manual in front of the lens you can now see it in front of the camera it's a bit awkward doing the video for this one unlike other dash cams because of the reflective nature of the mirror if we can try and look at some of the menus the dual recording allows the use of both a front camera and a rear camera the front camera is the default and records the traffic ahead but there's also this rear camera which films footage from the rear of the vehicle and how this works is it plugs into this socket here on the top of the camera which is next to the power socket and adjacent to the micro SD card socket and what this will do is record an image from the rear of the vehicle which appears in the bottom right of the filming screen my current vehicle is a camper van so it doesn't have a rear windscreen so I'm going to have to try and replicate how this dual recording actually works so if you can see the main screen here that is recording from the front camera and is recording an image of the user manual here and this is the second camera so I'm going to have this pointing behind me and I just need to get it the right way up and I'm now recording an image of our fireplace in the lounge not completely conventional but this is for demonstration purposes so you can see in the bottom right of the recording filming screen is the image of our fireplace here and this is the best replication of how it works that I can manage without actually having access to a car with a rear windscreen so you just have to imagine this now being the rear view and this being the front view and it does work really well together the rear camera is very easy to fit the main thing is to remember to get it the right way up so the image isn't permanently upside down but you can just twist it around and you soon get to the right position then you can either fit it in your car by drilling into it through a little screw recesses there or you can do it the lazy way and just use this sticky pad either way it works well please drive to highlighted route turn left on high street drive 0.5 miles then turn right on A429 